Hello and welcome to the Curriculum Resource Center tutorial video. So we're going to get started and the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your internet browser and from here you have a couple of options to access library resources. So you can either do uh, library.clark.edu um, to navigate to library resources and this is going to land you on the libraries page through SharePoint or what you can do is you can also go through your MyClark so if you go through your MyClark you're going to scroll down until you find the card that says academic resources and then you're going to click on library that's listed in that and that's going to take you to the same place so it's going to land you here and then from here what we're going to do is we are going to click on the databases button um, that's the first one in the list that's going to take us to the A to Z databases list or just you know the list of all the databases that we have um, here at Clark and what you can do is um, you can either scroll down until you get to it you can search alphabetically um, so we could click to C to get to it, and then we would scroll down until we see Curriculum Resource Center, which is here at the very bottom. You can also come up here to the top where it says All Subjects, and you could click on Education, um, and it's going to list it here. Any of those options are going to get you there. You could even just like search for it itself. So Curriculum Resource Center. Um, this is a very specific database that is meant for students who are majoring in education and are looking to become teachers. This is kind of a specific database for all of you because one of the best things about it is that it literally just has a ton of things like fact sheets, um, geographic maps, uh, science experiments, math activities, diagrams, images, it has a whole kind of plethora of things that you can use for handouts and for kind of use in your lesson plans, your student teaching, anything that you might be doing with students. So we're just going to take a, a look at some of the different things that are listed. Under fact sheets, um, we'll take a look at world history just to give us something to kind of work off of. Um, you can kind of see in this list there's just a bunch of different things. So it's going to kind of give us categories. Let's say that maybe we are um, working with our students inside of the classroom um, looking at like World War II. So we might look at this causes and consequences of World War II. Then it's going to kind of give you even more than that. So let's say that we want to specifically look at um, World War II in relation to um, like the Nazis and the communist um, kind of policies so we would click on that. That then automatically gives us this handout. So on this handout what we can do um, is we can we can enlarge it so if we need to make it bigger um, we can download it. Uh, downloading it's going to be really helpful as you are maybe needing to print out several copies. Um, you can email you can print and you can also get that citation. The citation is also at the bottom. It lists out a few different formats and stuff. So if you need to pick um, a different citation style, um, you can definitely do that as well. Um, so um, one of the other kind of things about this is that there's not only just like one sometimes listed. So this is the result one of four. So up here on the right side, we can click next, next page and it's going to give us kind of what are the other handouts that maybe are like also contained in this as well and then obviously what we can do is we can also like navigate ourselves backwards so we can go um, kind of to and from and figure out what kinds of things are in here that would be helpful for us we'll go back out to the main page let's maybe take a look at some math activities so we're under algebra let's say Maybe we want to look at like patterns. It's even going to give us um, like activity details, which might be helpful as you're planning lessons and kind of utilize it that way. Um, there is also an index, which kind of has everything listed. And then there is also just a search box. So let's say that um, you want to just like plug in um, 
different examples here and see what kinds of things come back that might be related to what you're looking for. But yeah, everything that is in this database uh, is quite helpful for um, for you um, as you are working on your education degree. Um, so if you have any questions about Curriculum Resource Center, please don't hesitate to um, reach out and let us know.